on, so we got a lot of snow. One of the added challenges to firefighting, along with freezing temperatures, is hydrant access. So we rely a lot on those fire hydrants to provide us with water. Most of our fire engines hold 1,000 gallons of water, which is enough to get started on the fire. But we can also flow 1,500 gallons of water per minute. So that means getting access to those fire hydrants is vital. With over 1,400 fire hydrants in the city of Sycamore, it's just really not possible for all of us to maintain these uh, fire hydrants, especially on days like today. So what we rely on is help from you guys. If you could spare a few minutes of your time to get us access to those fire hydrants, we'd greatly appreciate it. So we've got a little bit of work to do, so let's get digging. Do you remember that devastating fire about one year ago at St. Albans Greens in Sycamore? Well, at one point, we were flowing 5,000 gallons of water per minute, which is enough water to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in about two hours. So why do we need so much space around our fire hydrants? Well, we really rely on this hose that's gonna go to this spot. So let me connect this and I'll show you. We also have two other ports that we could rely on to give us more water. So let's get this hooked up and we'll show you what the end product looks like. Most of the fire hydrants in Sycamore can provide between 500 gallons and 1,500 gallons of water per minute. So now, when we charge this fire hydrant, the hose will fill up and we'll actually start to feed my fire engine, helping the firefighters inside the house. So how big a round do we need to get? Well, a good rule of thumb is about three feet. Consider adopting a fire hydrant today. Thank you.